Our scenario begins in the Global Network Operations and Security Center, or GNOSC, where a myriad of networks, systems, and applications that make up the global information grid are being monitored. Captain Thompson, the current watch officer, is completing his communication status report for the previous 24 hours when he notices that the mission status for force protection on his CIA COP display has turned red and is flashing. Meanwhile, the Regional Global Network Operations and Security Center has initiated incident response procedures. They are subsequently analyzing the details of the incident and are preparing to inform the GNASC watch officer with the initial report. According to standard operating procedures, Captain Thompson initiates the incident report process and prepares to virtually assemble those on the notification list for the force protection mission. Through the global awareness feature of his collaboration service, Captain Thompson is able to locate the individuals he desires to establish a virtual conference with and sends an instant message designating the virtual conference location. Each principal checks into the conference. They include FBI Special Agent John Parsons from the National Infrastructure Protection Center, Lieutenant Colonel Steve Lewis, CTF Vigilant Watch Officer, and Major Jean Bramel from the Canadian Forces Network Operations Center. Captain Thompson initiates the conference. Gentlemen, he states, I requested this conference to inform you of and discuss the indications that are being visualized through my CIA COP. It appears that our C1 email servers are currently under cyber attack. The attack cripples the email server, denying the ability to send or receive email. Further analysis has determined that the hacker also gained root access. The situation is grave, and it is not known what information has been compromised. Potentially, emails containing classified correspondence may have been stolen, as well as names of military individuals from the LDAP directory, which may be used to generate a hit list. Immediate incident response results in taking the server offline to avoid the proliferation of possible worms or virus. The communications critical task view alerts the commander that the force protection mission has been negatively impacted. Mission success is dependent on the ability to communicate effectively. The service category view reveals that it is the email service within the communication critical task that has been specifically targeted. In this operation, email is the primary source of bilateral communication where all releasable operational message traffic is shared with our coalition partner. Continuous information sharing and collaboration continues. FBI forensic analysts trace the source of the attack to a location near Seattle, Washington, where suspected links to terrorist organizations exist. Intercepted communications from the same location to the UK and Canada make mention of a maritime transportation of hazardous material. A possible suspect vessel is identified. Their port of debarkation was Southampton, UK, with the declared next port of Halifax, Nova Scotia. Port Authority and Coast Guard are notified and the ship is designated a vessel of interest. Last known position and amplifying intelligence data is provided by the Office of Naval Intelligence and visualized in the Homeland Defense Common Operational Picture. Given that the cyber attack still exists, a virtual computer emergency response team is activated. The team consists of experienced, knowledgeable, and geographically distributed security professionals within the combined and coalition information assurance community. Sergeant Ryan, a network security analyst at NORTHCOM J6, recognizes the symptoms of the attack based on a previous experience. He disseminates the patch knowing the potential for this vulnerability to exist with joint, combined, and coalition partners. Furthermore, he is able to reach the broader community by posting an information assurance vulnerability alert to the Coalition InfoSec Bulletin Board. The shared knowledge of the virtual team provides a solution within a short amount of time. The patch for the email server is immediately applied at the affected site and within minutes brought back online. At the GNOSC, Captain Thompson's CIA COP mission status view immediately reflects the change visualized by the green indicator on the force protection mission status. In this scenario, you have observed the many faces of CIA COP. In the first scene, you witness the ability of CIA COP to promote situational awareness through delivering near real-time status-aware alerts. 
The second scene of the scenario shows the ability of CIA COP to provide threat to mission correlation as the communication critical task view alerts the commander that the mission has been negatively impacted. In the third and final scene, timely alerting permits a virtual computer emergency response team to be assembled, implementation of the required patch, and the posting of an IA vulnerability alert throughout the Coalition InfoSec community. The situational awareness that CIA COP provides commanders results in the ability to respond immediately and appropriately to information system attacks, mitigating threats and ultimately reducing mission impact.